person that has always been on the go, never tired or anything. And I start getting very tired and went to the doctor, explained to the doctor what was going on. And he took a blood test. And when the blood test came back, my blood count was down to seven. So then he sent me for a colonoscopy. And he was amazed when he did the colonoscopy that he found the tumor. Well, it was recommended that I get it operated on. And I advise anybody, don't wait. I did. And by the time I had it operated on, it was quite big. Dr. C is wonderful. I really wouldn't have any other doctor taking care of me with my cancer. He is so patient with me, sits down, talks to me, explains things to me, and makes me feel so much better about myself. He'll tell me, call him up day or night, it doesn't matter if I don't feel good, if I have any questions, and to me that means a lot because most doctors, you can't bother them unless you go to the office. How do you think about it when you're told that you have cancer? You just keep going. Don't give up. Whatever you do, do not give up. And keep telling yourself that you're gonna get through this. I got through it, now I'm in remission. I would always tell my children as they were growing up, if they ever fell down, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Well, that is biting me right now. When this happened with me with the cancer, she reminded me of what I used to always say to her and her brother. And it's true, I did. I picked myself up, I dusted myself off, and I started all over again. And I said, I'm going to defeat this here cancer. And I did.